Hi my loves, it's Sam. So I have taken away the chair behind me because I think that that was causing a lot of my uh, focus problems because it wanted to focus on the chair behind me because of all the little bars. So hopefully this will help. Today I am gonna be doing a jean try on haul. I have been living in leggings basically ever since COVID started back in March of last year. And I bought jeans a couple of times for try on hauls, but for the most part, I, I like wear leggings. If you guys haven't heard, <laughs> skinny jeans are out according to Gen Z. So when I heard this, I was like, what the heck? Like I was really annoyed. I was like, who the heck are you to tell me what's out? But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just try it. I'm intrigued. I'm actually just interested to try out this new trend. Obviously, whatever floats your boat is what you should do. So if you still are obsessed with the skinny jeans and you're like skinny jeans for life, then do it. I feel like when you're young, you feel like you have to be a part of the trend and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get this or like, I'm not cool. And like when you're in your 30s, you're like, I really don't give a poop whether you like my skinny jeans or not. However, I was interested to see what these Gen Zs were talking about. And so I decided to purchase a bunch of different dad jeans. I don't know if you want to call them dad jeans. I've seen them like all different names. Dad jeans, 90s jeans, straight leg jeans. But they're basically kind of like this dad jean trend. And so I figured I would just buy a bunch of different ones from different brands and we would try them on for you guys today. It's kind of like the battle of the dad jeans to see which ones are the best, which ones are the most comfortable, which ones are the most flattering. And so today I'm going to be trying them all on for you guys. And I'm actually really excited because I have been wearing a few of these for the last week and I have found some ones that I'm like obsessed with that now I'm thinking why on earth did I wear skinny jeans because they are so much more comfortable. Number one, trying to get skinny jeans on is difficult. I remember when the skinny jean trend came and I thought, gosh, these are so annoying to put on. And then obviously the like fatter you get, the harder, <laughs> the harder it gets. Like I was trying to put these skinny jeans on and I was like, what is going on? Like I was huffing and puffing. So when I got these jeans, these dad jeans or whatever you guys want to call them, I was like, the first thing I noticed was like, dang, that was so easy to get dressed. Like I slipped them right on. It was super easy. It's also amazing if you have moisturized your legs or you have self tanner or a gradual self tanner or body oil or whatever it is. When you, you know, when you put your jeans on, they just come on. You don't have to worry about them sticking to your, your creamy, moisturized skin. They just slide right on. So I love the fact that there's, this is what I've noticed. I just, I wanted to test a few of them out just to kind of give you guys my thoughts on what I've noticed for the last week of wearing them. Also a lot more comfortable to wear throughout the day. I'm not sure if that is gonna go for all of the ones I got because I noticed a few of the ones I got are a little stiffer than the ones that I have been wearing a lot and I think it just really depends on which ones you go with. There are definitely some ones that are more stretchy, kind of like comfortable, softer jeans, and then there's definitely some more stiffer ones. And I will be telling you guys which is which when I try everything on for you guys because there are some ones that I recently just got that I haven't worn yet that did feel quite stiff. Number three, if you are a little bit hippie like I am, sometimes I've noticed, and this is probably why I haven't worn my skinny jeans for so long, is because my hips, when I gain weight, it goes right to my hips and it goes right to my thighs and it goes right to my butt. And so I have, I've actually lost six pounds. Winning. I noticed that like my hips were just getting so wide. When you go to put skinny jeans on and you have really wide hips, it's like all you can focus on is the hips. Now that my boobs are smaller, because obviously I used to have, um, you know, my implants were massive. So I was like more kind of like hourglassy. Whereas now I'm a little bit more pear shaped, I would say, because obviously my chest is smaller um, because now I'm a 36 C versus a 36 triple D or double D, whatever it was. I never really measured. It was just too big to wear a bra. Because of my mom's history, because she um, passed away at 40, I need to go get a mammogram before he will schedule my actual surgery. So I'm waiting for that. Actually, my appointment is tomorrow. So I'm gonna go get my mammogram and then I can give him the results. And then if everything is clear, then we can move forward. So I'm still rocking the deflated implants at the moment. I noticed that with the um, dad jeans, because I am so hippie, I was actually concerned because I'm, you know, short and hippie that they were gonna like look really bad. But I think because they give you a little bit of width at the bottom of your leg, they actually kind of balance out your hips. If you are quite hippie, 
the skinny jeans really do bring attention to the hips whereas these jeans they kind of just like balance you out and it doesn't make you look like your hips are as big or wide as they actually are so in my case I really like it because it kind of balances out my body I didn't think I was gonna like them I really thought that they were gonna make me look super heavy and like it was only for like tall skinny people and if you guys are new to my channel I am five one and a half every half inch counts and I am a size well in these, I noticed some of them I'm a size 10, some of them I'm a size 12. It really depends on the brand or the style. Every time I look on Instagram, it seems like everyone is like super tall and super slender. And sometimes it gets really old because you're just like, oh my gosh, not not everyone is that skinny and tall. Some of us were not blessed with height. We are just short. We have short little legs and that's just how life goes. And so I really wanted to do this video for the short curvy girls out there to let you guys know what jeans are gonna make you look, you know, what, what jeans are gonna flatter the shorter, curvier ladies. I really do feel like these are actually a lot more flattering than you might think, and you might be surprised. So if you're kind of like still perturbed about the whole Gen Z side part, um, skinny jean <laughs> shade that went out there, um, I highly recommend you guys give them a go and just try them because you know what sometimes these youngins they do know what's up and I think in this situation they actually do these jeans are super comfortable they are just so awesome to wear I can clean in them I can do all sorts of stuff and I went for a long walk in them like I would never do that with my skinny jeans I put my leggings on they are just so comfortable I'm tell I'm telling you it's all about the comfort we have some from Nordstrom some from Abercrombie and some from Target so I kind of have a nice mixture of price ranges there um, I really wanted to focus on some affordable ones but then I also wanted to test out the higher end ones and see like could you should you splurge or should you save on these so we're gonna be trying all of them on for you guys so if there's something that you see here that you think yes absolutely need these I'm gonna put the sizes of each jean that I'm wearing the prices as well as the um, links to everything. Also, I noticed the universal thread ones that I got from Target that I'll be showing you guys are normally 29. They're on sale for 25 right now. The Wild Fable ones are 22 bucks, so just over $20 for a pair of jeans. Insane. Um, I believe the Topshop ones that I got from Nordstrom are 89 and then the Abercrombie were the most expensive and I think they came in at 99 So I also got a couple of tops that I'm going to be showing you guys as well. I did get a pair of Spanx underwear. So it's just a good haul and I hope that you guys enjoy and find this helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what wins. Which pair of jeans was a winner for you guys? What was your favorite? And give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is the first. I just wanted to like put it with a jacket so that you guys could see like how I would probably wear these ones. And then I'll take off the jacket and show you the whole thing. Um, but these are the first ones. So these are from Abercrombie. So these ones were probably one of the most expensive. These are called the Curve Love, the Ankle Straight High. Wait, hold on. <laughs> the Ankle Straight Ultra High Rise. These are a size 31, which is a 12 short. So I had a feeling that I would have to size up with Abercrombie, so I did, and I'm so glad I did, because if I would've got the 10, these would've been way too tight. So these ones are the Curve Love ones. So they do have like a bit of a stretch. They're not quite as stiff. So you can see like when I pull out like this, they definitely have more of that kind of stretch, and I think that's the Curve Love, um, I think that's what the Curve Love stands for, is kind of like more of a stretch. So these ones are actually really comfortable. This is also from Abercrombie. It's really difficult to find a bra to wear with it. So I have one from American Eagle that you just kind of, it's like the best, but it doesn't really look, my, my ladies are still a bit saggy because I haven't had them lifted up yet. So they're kind of still down here. I just kind of like pulled them. Sometimes I can just grab it and lift it up, but then, it tends, because this bra doesn't have much support, they fall back down. So we'll just lift them up for now. Um, but this is an actual bodysuit. So I am wearing it with a pair of Spanx, like, I guess I guess it would be here. This is what they are called. Suit your fancy high-waisted thong. Um, so I wanted to, I don't actually own any thongs. And this is like a thong bodysuit. And I didn't want to just like have it up there without anything underneath. So I wanted to get like a pair of Spanx like 
thong, but it is it is quite nice. The only thing is that I feel like it does give you a bit of rollage over here, um, but it really does kind of like help with the, the pooch, but then it's a thong, so it's kind of cool. So I definitely recommend finding something like that to wear with this bodysuit because obviously, you know, it's like little, little snap bot the snap underneath. But if you don't wear it with anything, I tried it on without anything and I was like, whoa, that's really uncomfortable. So um, yeah, I got the Spanx and I actually quite like them. I'll show you guys um, later when I take this off. But that is what the actual bodysuit looks like. I just feel like it's really difficult to find a bra to go with it because obviously I need a bra that gives me a little bit more support. And this one obviously doesn't, it's just a bralette but it's the only one that would like actually not show in the, um, you know, the straps. So that's what the bodysuit looks like. I'll get up close, you guys can see the neck, but it's really cute. I just feel like it'll look better when my ladies are a bit lifted. These jeans I love, I think they're really cute. I like how long they are. They are a short, so I feel like I definitely am glad that I went with a short with these ones because I think they're supposed to have that kind of cropped look. And obviously if I would have got the long, they would have just looked like a full on or even a regular. They would have just looked like a regular jean, but with these, it kind of shows a little bit more of my ankle. Um, and then they actually fit perfectly around my waist because obviously my waist is like quite a bit narrower than my hips. And there is no, let me get closer so you guys can see, there is no gap, which is amazing. Like normally that's the trouble I have is that there's a huge gap. So these ones fit amazingly. Um, I love the length. I love the, the fact that they're like a stiffer jean, but they have stretch. The rips are in the perfect place. They are just awesome. So I highly recommend these ones. I love them. I think they're super cute. And if you can find the right bra, or maybe if you don't have to worry about wearing a bra because your ladies are upright, then this top is really cute. I'll turn around and let you guys see the back of the whole entire situation. So here's what I'm talking about with the, the bra. <laughs> It's just not ideal, is it? And then because I have the Spanx on, it's kind of created this like little roll up here where it hasn't come up quite high. That's the problem with some of these shapewear is when it's like this, then it doesn't, it doesn't really look that great in the back. What's going on now? I think I've ruined it. I think my bra's gone all mangled over it. Anyway, that's what the, the tank top looks like. So that's the problem with these is that I feel like you kind of have to wear it with like not a bra or something that you know is more of a racer back so the bra situation is just a little hard but don't you think the bum looks delightful i'm like actually really like let's get closer and check out this bum that is a let's just hide the this is why i have long hair so i can hide the rolls but look how cute my butt looks. It doesn't even look that wide. It doesn't even look like I'm super hippie because I have more like width at the bottom than if I was just wearing a skinny jean. So with these, I feel like they, they make your butt look amazing. I feel like these are probably the best in the bum. Like those are super cute. I'm really happy when you walk. It looks adorbs. You look like you totally do squats and stuff. Yes, I'm just not so happy with the Spanx. I feel like I would look smoother if I didn't have the Spanx on. So that's a bit annoying, but they do look good on the bum at least. Um, but yeah, these jeans are amazing on the butt. So this is a, this is an A plus for bum bums. Okay, so next we have these ones, which these are a bit stiffer. These ones are called the Abercrombie High Rise. Again, I got it in a 3112 regular. So these ones are not the short. Um, and these ones are actually, you know, surprisingly, I don't know if they're supposed to be shorter on, on like people who are taller, but on me, they're actually a really great length for like a full length jean. So if you are looking for a full length in this and you are short, I would get the regular, um, because I actually really like the length. Again, rips are in the perfect spot. They don't show off too much. The nice thing about this one and I do feel like this makes a huge difference with the mom tum, is that it has the buttons instead of the zip. So the first pair had the zip, and I feel like, I don't know if it's because of the extra um, layers of denim, but it kind of pushes your tummy in a little bit more. So if you are someone who suffers, so, like it's a disease, <laughs> you know, if you ha are someone who struggles, I should say, with a little bit more of a pooch down lower, like for me, I'm pretty flat up here, but for me, this is my problem area where I carried my babies and I store my cake. Um, 
this actually puts a little bit more pressure on it and it kind of sucks it in a little bit more which is really nice so i kind of like this it's kind of annoying when you need to go to the bathroom because there's so many buttons to do but they're not that stiff they you know they get in there pretty well so it's not like it's terrible and here's what i'm talking about as far as balancing out if you are hippie because obviously you know my hips are pretty big my boobs are still a decent size but they're definitely not as like out here as they used to be with skinny jeans i just feel like oh it's just like so hippie whereas this look at them they actually balance me out so i actually think that they make me look leaner than when i wear skinny jeans i love the width at the bottom it's not too wide it's not too skinny it's just like absolutely perfect so i absolutely love these jeans now these ones yeah, they're still pretty comfortable. They're not super stiff, but they're definitely not as stretchy as the Curve Love ones. So if you're looking for a super stretch, you might want to go with the Curve Love, but I still feel like, yeah, I mean, they're still, let me just, you can see there's still a bit of stretch to them. There's, you know, they're not the stiffest things in the world. I can move, I can bend over, I can pick stuff up, and they don't feel like they're super stiff and I can't like move. So I absolutely love them. I love how they have the little like dingles here. <laughs> I just like the way they they fall to the side. I think they're really cute. Um, you can wear these with sneakers. I don't actually have anything like any cute shoes right now to wear with these. I'm waiting on a pair that I got from Nordstrom. But they're not here yet. So I just paired them off with some heels. I just wanted to show you guys like if I had heels on um, and then if I take them off That's what they look like without a heel. So You know still really cute. You could wear them with some cute little flats some sandals, whatever. And then from the side, these ones, as you can see, because they are not the Curve Love, these ones do actually give me quite a big gap in the waist, and that's what I was talking about. So I think the Curve One Love, the, what did I just say? The Curve Love ones, they do have a better fit if you are more curvy. Um, so obviously these ones are not geared towards the curvy ladies. They're probably geared more towards someone who's a little bit less hippie and curvy in the bum um but it's not that big of a deal because like probably i would just wear this with like a, a looser top anyway to cover that but if you're looking for something that fits like perfectly right there then obviously you know there is a pretty sizable gap back there so that's what they look like from the front same exact um bodysuit that i was wearing before and then let's look at the bum oh the bum's looking good on this i'm really not liking this sphinx I feel like it's giving me rolls that I don't even have. Like, this is the problem. Yeah, I'm not loving the Sphinx. I just feel like it's great on the tummy, but then it just puts all your back to the, or all your fat to the back. So, <sighs> pick your poison. Um, yeah, these ones look really good on the bum as well. I feel like the Abercrombie ones really flatter the bum a lot more than the Target ones that I'm gonna be showing you guys because my bum is looking juicy. Yeah, I'm really liking the bum in these for sure. So yes, these ones are also an A plus bum jean. You like okay. the bum? I love everything the about it. The bum is good in these ones, huh? Yeah. I like the, the bum is the best in these. Okay, last pair from Abercrombie. These ones are called the Curve Love High Rise. I got these in a 3112 regular. So again, these ones are gonna be a little bit longer. So if you're looking for the cropped look, I would definitely go with the short um, if you're short, but if you are looking for like a nice long length, then a regular is fine. So they must just be that they're supposed to be kind of like this, but you know, if you get a regular size, I think I didn't get a short because they didn't have it maybe. I don't know, I can't remember, um, but I got the regular. So this is what these ones look like. Again, these ones have more of that little bit, they're just a little bit more stretchy, yeah. They definitely have like a really good stretch to them. So if you're looking, you know, if you have the curves and you're looking for more of a, a comfort fit, then these would definitely be, the Curve Love is the one to go with. Um, I love the rips again. I like how they just have that one knee on this side. They're all slightly different, but very similar. See, the gap is not nearly as big. It's a little bit, oh, where am I? It's a little bit, but not nothing major. So you're definitely gonna get a better fit if you have curves if you go with the Curve Love jeans. That is what the butt looks like. So these ones aren't quite as attractive in the bum as the first two. I would give these like a B minus in the bum because it's looking a little bit baggy, kind of like right in this section. So they, I think these ones just fit a little looser. 
Um, you know, so the other ones I think looked a little bit more attractive in the bum area. But what does the back look like in these? Do they have a bit of a rip? Oh yeah, they do. That's kind of cute. They have a bit of like a rip kind of, you know, distressed look in the back there. So that is the behind shot. Okay, so these are the Target ones. As you can see, I've been wearing a bunch so they're kind of like wrinkled and stuff. These are my favorite ones. They're the most comfortable. These are a size 12. They are $22 and they are by Wild Fable. I can't remember exactly what these are called because I've I've already gotten rid of the label. Oh no, it's in my back pocket. Ho ho. Please hold. Nope, that is the wrong label. Dang it. Okay, that's the wrong label. Um, but I will link these ones down below. I'll do it in order of everything I've put on. Um, the reason I like these ones is because they're super duper stretchy. Like these are the stretchiest. They're so comfortable. They're a little loose. Like I could have technically got, got a 10, but I love the way that the, the 12 fits me. And these did kind of loosen up as I wore them. At first when I got the 12, they fit a little bit more snug in the kind of thigh and butt area. And then as I've worn them, they've kind of loosened up a little bit. But I love the rips. I love the placement of the rips. I love the length of the, um, you know, of the whole leg. And again, this has all those extra buttons. So it kind of holds you in a little bit better here, which I love. Um, and these ones do come up nice and high. I'll show you from the side. They have a tiny bit of a gap, but nothing major. So yeah, they are a little bit big around this section, but it's nothing major. They're so comfortable though. Like they feel like I'm just wearing sweatpants or pajama pants. They're amazing. This is a tricky one. This was $5. Again, this is Wild Fable. It's so hard to find a bra because of the way that this comes out like here it's really difficult to find a bra that works with it. So I just wore it with like a bikini because I thought it would be kind of cute to wear like over a bikini to go to the beach. Um, and then it is, I have that Spanx on below. I said I would show it to you guys. So let me just pull this up. So not that much. Um, this is the Spanx underwear. So that's the one that I got from Nordstrom. So you can see it kind of adds a little bit of a roll on this side like do you see that? I normally don't have that. And that's the problem with shapewear is that sometimes they don't actually make you smooth. Like, but it definitely holds you in a little bit better here. It just makes everything super smooth here. Um, like where my mommy tummy is. Um, and then I'll show you without showing you. Can I do this with one hand? Am I skilled? That is how they come on the side. So they kind of cut off my like fat here a little bit, like on the bum. Do you guys see that? If I pull it down then I haven't shaved, so I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. But um, I don't know. It's not as smoothing as I would like, because in the back, let me show you the back. It's a thong, so it comes up, you know, it does have a little sticky thing here, which is quite nice, because then it sticks. I can't say that it really stays in place, because it does kind of move. It doesn't look that good in the back, like it bunches up here and stuff, so I don't know if I'm super happy with this, but I figured I'd show it to you anyway. There is the bum in these jeans, so it's a little bit more of a relaxed fit on the, uh, the whole entire bum. So it's not quite as tight as the, do you see this? Oh, this, this Spanx is not cute. Oh, now I've put it all the way up my butt too because it's a thong, so I can't really re return it, can I? But it just doesn't, I suppose if I would wear something that's not tight up at the top, it's okay, but it really does give you the back roll. But anyway, I love these jeans. They look cute on the bum. They are just so comfortable, you guys. I just highly recommend the jeans. They are absolutely amazing. Um, and then this tank top, I'll show you how long it is if you didn't want to tuck it in. Tank top is great for $5. It comes in a bunch of different colors. It's five bucks, it's super soft. Let me pull it down so you guys can see what it looks like. So if you don't tuck it in, that's how long it is in the back. And then that is how long it is in the front. So it's a decent length, it's not super cropped, it's just kind of like a medium length tank top. It's just really difficult to find the right bra to go with it. I think technically you're supposed to wear it like without a bra, but that's not happening for me. Okay, so here are the next pair. These ones are also by Wild Fable. They are size 12, $22. And what are they called? Do I have a tag? Darn it, I don't have the tag. I will link them down below as well. Um, but I think for $22, these are a great pair of jeans. I love how these ones have more of that frayed bottom where it's just like a, you know, just a raw cut. It's not hemmed. Um, also, the rips are great. They are nice and stretchy again, so really, really comfortable. A little bit lighter denim, kind of more of that 
almost like faded or like muted light wash which is really nice and then this is that same exact tank top but it's in the um it's kind of like a dark khaki green it's really cute i absolutely love this color i don't normally go for this color but i really like in this tank again i just have it on with a bikini because without it it is not looking cute um and then i took off the spanx so that you guys could see how i don't have that roll so do you see what i mean like I feel like it makes it a little smoother in this part because it's just like holding everything in and it can maybe sucks a little bit better in here, but the back is much better without the Spanx. So see how much smoother it is without the Spanx? There's like no like weird rolls and stuff. So I feel like the Spanx does definitely give you the rolls that are a little unnecessary in that section. Um, and then this is what the bum looks like in these. So I feel like these ones are a little bit more attractive in the bum than the first pair. But the first pair is definitely a little bit more relaxed and kind of like loose. Um, also not quite as long. So that's those and they are so cute and 22 bucks. I just cannot get, get over the price. Like it's amazing. So that is what that whole entire outfit looks like together. You just got to find the right bra to wear with this or if you can just rock the ladies without anything. <sighs> Hopefully one day I can do that. Um, but yeah, absolutely love the jeans. They are so, so cute. And I like how this is kind of like, it's like um, kind of like a creamy, almost like oatmeal color for the distressed part. It's really super duper cute. Last but not least from Target, we have the Highest Rise Vintage Straight from Universal Thread. These ones are on sale for $25, and these ones are in a size 10. Again, these ones are really stretchy, super duper comfortable. You can see in the 10, they fit me a little bit more fitted around the thigh area, and then they are looser around the leg. I love the length of these. I think they're great. I also love the rips. I think they're super duper cute. They fit really, really well around the waist in the size 10, so that is what trying to get back there that is what they're called these ones do make me look a little bit more hippie and kind of i think probably because they're in the 10 they're a little bit more um form fitting so you can see they kind of do make my thighs and my hips look a little bit bigger but not bad like i still think they're really cute and i paired it off with this cute little shirt this is by wild fable it is 12 dollars. it's long sleeve it has the cute little like um What's that called? It's like a little wiggly, I'm not sure of what the exact term, um, but it's also like that on the bottom as well. So I have just my regular shapewear on that actually has the built-in bra. This is what I wear on a daily basis. This has the little detailing all the way around, so it's super cute. And this one is a little bit more cropped. I got this one in a medium. I think it's super cute. Um, I love the little detailing. I love the little flowers. It's just so adorable. Okay, so that is what the bum looks like in these. You can see a little bit more fitted. It's definitely curved or hugging on to like every curve of my bum. Um, I wouldn't say these are my favorite jeans, but I still really like them and they're really comfortable to wear. Okay, last but not least are the Topshop jeans. So these are the ones I got from Nordstrom. I believe they were $89. So these ones are a UK 14 and a US 10. And I would say they fit like a true 10 would. Um, these are a, a 32 wide length 30. So, and they're just called the dad jean. Um, oops, I almost stripped. So these ones have no stretch whatsoever. There is no give to these. If I try to, <laughs> If I try to bend over or squat, there's not a whole lot of movement in these. They're not very stretchy. They're not the most comfortable. However, I do think they are quite attractive. They're quite slimming. They definitely kind of lengthen the leg. I love the rip in the knee. I think the location of it is perfect. The length of these are perfect on me. Um, so if you are 5'1 or 5'2, the 30 is a great length. Um, but I do think they are very attractive to wear so i would definitely wear this with like a blazer like this would be more of like a going out like trying to look really cute jean but not a being comfortable around the house running errand jean because they're very stiff like they are probably the stiffest jean i've worn since a high school <laughs> um so yeah keep that in mind if you are a bit curvy i don't necessarily think these are meant for curves because there is a big huge gap back there so just keep that in mind. So that's what the butt looks like. It kind of flattens my butt out 
a little bit here on the sides, but I think the actual center looks pretty cute. Um, it definitely makes my hips look a lot narrower. I don't look nearly as wide as I normally do. So like in skinny jeans, for example. So I really like the way that they look from behind. I think they look really cute. That is the bum in the Topshop jeans, size 10, US 10. So I would probably wear this and then just pop on a little blazer. Let me just grab a blazer so you guys can see what I mean. Okay, so this is probably how I would wear these jeans is with my little liftwear tank a cute little fitted blazer. This one is by Scoop from Walmart. Um, and then just some cute little black pumps. These ones are from Target from like so long ago. But that's how I would probably wear these ones because I'm not going to be lounging around in these. I couldn't even bend over when I dropped the shoe. I'm like so puffed out. <laughs> it, they're so stiff. So they're definitely not very comfortable to wear, guys. Um, but they do look really cute when you want to dress up a little bit and just look a little bit more put together. They are pretty adorable, but I wouldn't be cleaning the house in these babies. So there you guys go, and I'll show you what they look like from behind with the blazer. So that is what they look like from behind with a blazer on. Okay, and then last but not least, I got this Madewell t-shirt. This I got in a large, I kind of wish I would have got a medium because it's a little bit big, um, but I wanted just like a regular plain white t-shirt to pop in my little friend here. Get in there. You little cutie patootie. Um, I just wanted like a plain white shirt to like wear with some jeans and then to like put like a cute little cardigan or blazer or whatever over. Um, and I think this one's on sale. I think I got it for like around 19 or something like that. So I do like the sleeves though. The sleeves are, it's actually very comfortable to wear. Um, so with some just like cute little, you know, oof, cute little flat shoes. A plain little white shirt like I'm not gonna be comfortable in these jeans though because they're super uncomfortable and stiff but yeah the t-shirt part of me is like maybe you should have got a medium but then part of me is like a whatever I'm glad I got a large because it's super comfortable so yes that is the last item that I got okay guys so there is my battle of the dad jeans what are your favorite I would say the most comfortable ones are the target ones for sure they have a lot of stretch they're probably the most like my most worn like I think I'll wear those the most because they just feel like I'm wearing like pajama pants like they're so comfortable I think the most flattering might possibly be the top shop because they're very slimming um they're just the most uncomfortable for sure they're so stiff I'm wearing them right now and I can barely breathe they're cutting off my fat and then I think the Abercrombie ones are the best on the bum I think those ones win um, as far as like lifting the bum and making them look really nice. They're also pretty comfortable um, And I like the rips. So I think all of them are very they're all similar, but like have very different um, Like pros and cons. So I can't really pick a favorite. I, I mean Maybe the wild fable ones the really loose ones just because I've been wearing them the most so I would say the ones that I wear the most are the wild fable ones um, that are like really loose so those probably would be my favorite just because they're the most comfortable. Um, but they're all so different. Like I would wear them for different for different things. I think I would wear the Abercrombie and the Topshop ones more for like dressing up and going out. Like I'm going out anywhere. Ha! Huh? But you know what I mean. If I ever needed to look cute. And I'd wear the Target ones for just everyday wear. Just like being comfortable and running errands and cleaning the house. So there's um, my thoughts on the, on the dad jeans. I hope that you guys found that helpful and enjoyed. I will link everything down below that I tried on for you guys today. As well as the other like the tops and the underwear and all that. <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed in the Spanx. I just feel like they kind of give me more rolls than I even have. Um, so if there, I mean, it's a good thing for using it with that one, like, um, I want to say leotard, what's it called? Bodysuit from Abercrombie, but I don't know if I'll actually be wearing that, the Spanx very often. So I would save your money on those. They were $64, which is kind of ridiculous. I was hoping it to work miracles and I would just be this like super, you know, with no rolls. And instead I think it gave me more rolls than I'm actually have. So I mean, it's good because I do have like zero thongs in my collection. So now I have a thong. I can't exactly return it because it's been up my butt. So, mm. but you know, I feel like 
I feel like there's better shapewear out there, so I wouldn't necessarily rush and go and buy one. So yeah, there's my thoughts on that. Hopefully that's helpful. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Leave a comment down below which was your favorite pair on me that I tried on today, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah!